Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I'm going to be going over three mistakes you might be making in the Vault event, which is going on this weekend right now. Uh, these aren't as egregious as the Tower of Doom. Hey, do the Vault event however you want. You may have your reasons. But if you want to do it perfectly, if you want to hear it from a totally free-to-play person that's been playing for five years, and you want some advice and you're in the you know middle 75% of people, not the top top, not the bottom bottom, then this is advice for you. Maybe even the bottom bottom, but maybe not the top top. All right, the first mistake you might be making in the uh, vault event, uh, when it's a vault event, you do not want to open vault keys. Not the time to do it. I know it's like very, um, you know, you got the urge, you really want to open these vault keys that you're getting. But now's not the time. Now's the time to be getting as many vault keys as you can. Gnomes appear more often. This is the time to run your Gnomapaloozas. Kill as many enemies as you can and explore difficulty 1. Do not open your vault keys. Save it for another time when the vault event is not running. If you're sitting here opening vault keys during the vault event, you're just wasting time. You're not going to get anything extra out of it. And even if you did, it's not worth it. Um, you're missing out on vault keys. You could be running a Gnomapalooza while you're opening those vault keys. You could probably get like 10... Uh, battles done in the time you're opening one vault key that you can open later and get the same stuff so opening your vault keys during a vault event is a big no-no do not do that i know it's tempting i know you really want to use it but practice patience like i've been saying on the channel man patience is a virtue in this game especially if you're free to play so do not open vault keys during the vault event uh thank me later You'll get more vault keys in the long run, and you're going to get the same crap now that you would get if you saved them and waited till later. Alright, so the second thing that uh, we're going to go over here, uh, might as well do this right now. You see the pet rescue that's going on right now? It's kind of the same kind of deal as not opening vault keys right now. Let's not do pets right now. Same thing. You don't want to be sitting here doing a pet for what? four or five minutes depending on how fast you are i can do them in three minutes some people probably takes four minutes some people probably takes five minutes i can clear a a um a battle explore one battle in six seconds so i can do 10 battles in a minute right then i can let's say it takes you four minutes on average so that's 40 battles you're missing out on while you're doing this pet rescue that's potentially however many keys um if it's a noma palooza um yeah so you're missing out on like 40 battles worth of gnomes uh, or potential gnomes if you're doing pets while it's a vault event. This is one of those ones where the top 1%, um, they may not need to follow that advice because they need pets more than they need vault keys. That's kind of crazy and definitely a top 1%er type of thing. Pets are, are, are hard to come by. They are, and it's hard to get a bunch of copies of pets. But when you see them... If you do the vault event the way you're supposed to, and you get a bunch of gems, is that's what you're going to get if you get a bunch of vault keys, is gems and everything else. Then when you see a pet, you can actually buy the baskets and get the pet fully ascended. If you're not sitting on 20, 30, 40k gems, you should not be running pets during a vault event. It's another waste of time like opening vault keys. Um, exclude the top 1%. Those people, man, they can do whatever they want. They can do pets the whole time if they want. They can uh, miss out on all those vault keys because they don't need them. If you don't have at least 20,000 gems, not even, you know, not even close to be doing pets. So sometimes your guild leader like, hey, let's do pets. Let's all report pets during a vault event. Um, that's his in his interest. That may not be in your interest. So you might want to just do your own thing. Do vault keys the whole time. Don't worry about those pets. Uh, you'll get them later. Stack up those gems by getting vault keys, and then when you can do pets, then you can buy a bunch of baskets and everything. So, yeah, you just need to be blowing through easiest battles possible, and that'll lead us to the third mistake that people are making. Um, so I got my Iron Hawk team. Maybe you have your Rowan team. Boom, boom. It's like six seconds if you count the loading. Um... So super fast battles. We want to kill as many enemies as possible to give ourselves a chance at gnomes. They're, they're extra gnomes right now during the vault event. Um, you want to be doing gnomapaloozas. You want to be doing explorer difficulty 1. That's what you're doing. That's what 80, 90% of people should be doing. If you're a top 1%er, maybe you're doing something else. Maybe you have a reason. 
if you're super focused on like metals or souls or gold maybe but now that now that uh iron hawks in the game and everything and noma Paloozas are in the game and pity keys are in the game it's almost better to just get as many vault keys as you can so um if you're going for gold farming or or something while you're doing the vault event you're better off getting as many vault keys as you can and you'll get way more gold than you would have got from uh just farming gold while you're doing vault keys so focus 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 just clear explore one battles as fast as you can that gives you the most chance at the most vault keys that clears out the lowest level enemies as quick as possible you want to cycle enemies as quickly as possible all this nonsense about difficulty five or using a different team or making the battles harder on purpose that's all nonsense man nonsense because what are you gonna get an extra couple hundred gold or maybe 50 souls couple what are you gonna get really out of those battles that you're making harder and slower you're getting a little bit of gold maybe a little bit of souls maybe out of that when i'm getting an extra vault key here an extra vault key there an extra verse here you know what i'm saying so in the end i'm gonna end up with more than you you're making it harder on yourself and you're getting less out of it so Make it harder on yourself if you want. Get less out of it if you want. But the meta way to do the Vault Event is Difficulty 1 Explore with Ironhawk or Rowan. Killing as many enemies as possible, as fast as possible. Cycling through, killing, seeing the next set, fast, fast, fast. That's what you need to be doing. No need to make it harder to get a little bit of extra this or that. It's not worth it. You'll get more Vault Keys. That's what we're going after. We're going after Vault Keys, and only Vault Keys. Vault Keys versus running Noma Paloozas, that's it. Who cares about a little bit of extra gold per battle? Who cares about a little bit of extra souls per battle? You'll make it up with the extra Vault Keys that you're going to get. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today, so... Don't do Vault Keys during a Vault Event. Don't do Pets during a Vault Event. And don't make it harder and slower on purpose to get a little bit extra now. You're going to get a whole much, whole lot more later if you just keep doing the easiest battles possible with Rowan or Ironhawk. And like I said at the beginning, certain people, top 1%, they may be doing it a different way. That doesn't mean you should be doing it a different way. Um, and very low-level people, you may have to do certain things a different way. But hey, I'm talking to the middle 90% here. If you're the bottom 5%, if you're the top 5%, then maybe this video is not for you. But most of us, most of us, most of the people watching right now, don't do Vault Keys during a Vault Event. Don't do Pets during a Vault Event. And don't make the battles harder on purpose. It just makes it slower and you get less Vault Keys. You'll make it up in the long run with all the extra Vault Keys you're going to get. And you can get stuff from Vault Keys that you can't get from these battles, by the way. Like Chaos Orbs and stuff like that. Troops. So you're not going to get a little bit of an extra vault, uh, Chaos Orb, are you? You're not going to get a little bit of an extra troop, are you? No. You're going to get a little bit of extra gold, a little bit of extra souls. It's not worth it. So keep doing Explore 1 with the Iron Hawk or Rowan. And yeah, get as many Vault Keys as you can. That's the freaking name of the event. The Vault Event. So what are we doing? We're looking for gnomes. We're getting Vault Keys. We're doing Gnome of Beluzas. That's the name of the event. Do the event. All right. That's it for today. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. Yeah, comment below. Argue with me. I'd really appreciate it. Um, like, share, subscribe. All that stuff, like I just said. And I'll see you this weekend sometime for Gems of War After Dark, maybe. I'm kind of being a Debbie Downer right now. But, yeah. We'll see you, maybe. Peace.